I want to be an artist in Rome and be the best painter in the world. That's what you want too, isn't it, Joe, to be a famous writer? Yes, but it sounds so crass when she says it. My girls have a way of getting into mischief. Well, so do I. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. <laughs> I intend to make my own way in the world. No one makes their own way. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. You are not married, aren't you? Well, that's because I'm rich. Joe, would you like to dance with me? I can't because I scorched my dress. And Meg told me to keep still so no one would see it. I have an idea of how we can manage. Joe is a lost cause. So you are your family's hope now. I believe we have some power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. I think the poets might disagree. We can leave right now. I'll sell stories. Joe. And you, you should be an actress and you should have a life on the stage. Just because my... Aloha! The Stranded Ad, the Island Man, your Island Man. Coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And uh, today, on this uh, rainy Sunday, I'm uh, going to go ahead and tell you about a uh, movie that I saw. Um, yeah, it's been out in theaters for about a week, I believe, uh, called Little Women. And, uh, well, remember our rating scale, shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it, shock a thumbs down. It's bad to see. It's junk. I don't recommend it. And for Little Women, it is a shock of thumbs up. Uh, now, this stars a whole host of people, uh, and I'm going to have to read this off. Uh, uh, Soros, Cerise Ronan, uh, Timothy Charlemagne, Emma Watson, Florence uh, Pugh, uh, Alisa Scanlon, uh, Laura Dern, Meryl Streep, and Chris Cooper, uh, among many, many others. And uh, this is a, you know, this is a movie that's based on an old novel uh, by Louise, Louisa May Alcart. And it was directed by Greta uh, Gerwig. Um, and basically, this is... You know, this is a tale of four, uh, four sisters uh, in the early, well, in the, in the late 19th uh, century, um, during the years of the Civil War. Um, they're, you know, they're fairly poor. Um, you know, they're a fa fairly poor, poor family, uh, struggling to make ends meet, but doing the best they can because you know, um, because their, their father is away in the war, in the Civil War, uh, fighting on the side of the North. Um, but, you know, their mother's there trying to take care of them. Um, uh, fortunately, their aunt is very rich and well off and uh, does help them out from time to time. Uh, or else we could see them being much, much more uh, destitute than what they, what they are, fortunately. Um, let me just say that um, this is not the first time this book, uh, this story, has been made into a movie. The most recent one was in 1994, and it starred Winona Ryder and Christian Bale, uh, just to name a few. And uh, I remember seeing that on HBO, or at least, you know, starting out watching it, but I... I I don't remember finishing it. Uh, I never read the book, uh, not even in high school. Uh, there were other books that I had chosen to read, I guess. Um, you know, it, it never came up. Uh, but I do recall it being very difficult in trying to uh, grasp uh, the importance of this book. Um, you know, of this movie, by watching the movie uh, in 1994, because they kept it in that old language, uh, you know, of many, many years ago. Um, you know, and yes, maybe as an elder man, 
Um, you know, especially with, uh, you know, what uh, Steven Spielberg's The Lincoln that just came out, won an Academy Award for Best Actor or something like that, I think, a couple of years ago. Maybe we would be more uh, prone to be able to listen to that kind of thing now. But again, it would not be the aud audience that this is uh, geared for uh, adolescent uh, women, little women which is, you know, our heroine of the story, um, Sarisa Ronan, um, you know, plays a writer who is struggling to get noticed uh, in the early, well, in the late 19th century, heck, even in the 21st century, it's difficult for women trying to make it into a man's, uh, you know, what's considered usually or, you know, predominantly a man's field. And, you know, authorship, you know, women were not looked upon as writers back at the time. Um, many of which throughout history had used pseudonyms or male aliases to get their work published. Um, so, you know, we find her struggling to do that, to help her support her family um, while her father's away uh, at the war. Um, and... As is such, you know, the other children enjoy uh, enjoy being, um, you know, in, enjoy various uh, things. Um, you know, one of them, uh, Elizabeth, uh, is it Elizabeth? Elizabeth Pugh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, who is that? Um, oh, I'm sorry, Florence Pugh. Uh, enjoys art and painting and is actually pretty good but uh, everyone is pretty much seen as second fiddle to um, Sarisa Ronan's uh, character. Um, she is the most talented out of the bunch and uh, what is like you know at that time uh, women were meant to marry. Uh, her rich aunt uh, kind of pushes her towards that along with the other sisters until one tragically dies of scarlet fever. Um, you know, all well maybe trying to help an even poorer family as they are sick and maybe, you know, she didn't understand going to help them and see them, uh, this, you know, uh, sick, uh, poor uh, family or even poorer family. Um, you know, with this illness, you know, she may have just thought it was a cold for them uh, as she went to go help them as her mother had taught them to do so, uh, you know, to be altruistic like that. And it's kind of ironic in this book uh, that she dies because of it, you know, that she ends up to be the most giving, giving her life, in fact, having helped these people. Uh, and catching this illness of scarlet fever, which was nearly, nearly fatal uh, at the time in the early and late 19th century. Um, there are some cases there you could survive. Uh, some people did survive it, uh, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, the high fever would make them death. Uh, but unfortunately, she did not survive this one. So it brings the family a little bit closer together, uh, where they had drifted apart many looking for husbands uh, as such as the way to be successful is to marry a successful man back in the day. And even, um, even uh, Cerise uh, Ronan uh, attempts to do that with Timothy Charlemagne, who they had been kind of off and on uh, many times during the past. However, she finally goes for, or he finally goes for, uh, uh, her sister, after being turned down by her, uh, you know, several times, uh, actually. And, um, you know, Florence Pugh ends up with him. And he is very happy, but it breaks, of course, uh, Cerise uh, Ronan's heart that that happened. And then just by, you know, sheer tenacity, her book is uh, published and she finds success on her own uh, without a man. Um, so basically uh, what the director uh, did for this, um, you know, Greta Gerwig is update 
the language from this book, um, you know, it's all set still in the period uh, of the Civil War, you know, back in the 1860s. But by updating that language, it makes all the women, all the characters in this movie much, much more understandable and relatable. And I think that will definitely help, uh, you know, young teenagers uh, be drawn to this movie more and, you know, not only that, but finish it as well, um, which is, you know, something I, not even I could do back in the time, and that was just in 1994, you know, even out of high school trying to watch this movie, uh, I couldn't do it just because of the language barrier of, you know, certain anachronisms with, uh, with the language. Uh, problem and you know the old English kind of speaking just kind of it's like yeah yeah okay whatever and you just kind of tune out after a while <sighs> and unfortunately that happened to me and I got bored and I walked away from the movie uh, but this one I sat through and again like I say it was a shock of thumbs up and all of these characters well all of these actresses in the movie are fabulous uh, you've heard the name Timothy Charlemagne uh, go around a lot um, you know, some people even saying that he might be the next great actor of our, of our time. Um, since, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis has retired, uh, he might be the next that guy. Um, well, he, he definitely seems to have the chops and he's young enough to definitely keep going for several decades, uh, after this movie. Uh, but let me, let me tell you all of the actresses in this. Uh, were wonderful, and I look forward to seeing uh, Florence Pugh in the new Black Widow show, not having seen her or known who she was uh, or any of her work prior to that. So I look definitely forward to doing that. So uh, again, you know, definitely uh, a strong shock of thumbs up for Little Women. Um, you know, it was on, based on a budget of $40 million. It's been doing okay at the box office, but not, you know, anywhere near Star Wars blockbuster levels. Uh, so, you know, I think if you have the chance, if you have a teenage daughter, you might actually want to go ahead and uh, check this out, take them to go see it, try to kind of get their interest in it, uh, especially if you like things like Downtown Abbey and things said in that kind of period. Uh, they'll definitely enjoy it uh, along with yourself if you're inclined to that kind of thing, uh, being period pieces. Uh, and again, with the updated language, it definitely makes it much easier and understandable uh, to get to the gist of this movie of, you know, uh, uh, you know, women trying to find their own paths in life. Uh, you know, and not just be uh, subservient to or forced to marry to you know, um, to just be a part of their husband's lives, but to find a life worth living on their own terms. Uh, and essentially that is what this story, what this movie is about. All right. Thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man. Uh, shaka thumbs up for Little Women. I know my review's a little late on this. Uh, go ahead and see it in the theaters. It's probably going to stick there for another week, maybe two weeks. Uh, but definitely catch it on streaming, Netflix, iTunes, and, um, you know, again, if you're a little woman, uh, you'll definitely enjoy it. Or, you know, kind of a big softy man like me, uh, you'll uh, get a kick out of it as well. All right. Thank you so much and aloha.